What's up everyone and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We have an insane video for you today. The market is going crazy. We, we, I can't even describe the volatility that we're seeing in the market right now. We have a great video today. Make sure to stick with us to the end of today's video. We're not going to waste any time. Tom, what is going on in the market? Yeah, we had some insane stuff happen overnight. Of course, uh, Russia continued their invasion into Ukraine, and we saw the markets start to tank off in a major way overnight last night. And we can see the SPY formed a pretty good support early this morning, around $410. And then as the market opened, you know, we actually had a pretty nice recovery today. The SPY started moving all the way back up, and we actually moved above the closing price of yesterday and ended up in the green up 1.5% as Russia continues to invade. And Biden actually had a pretty good speech today where he came out and said that we're going to be obviously issuing more sanctions on Russia and different stuff like that. And we even had news where China, um, they, they pretty much they pretty much blamed us for the whole situation that's going on there, which is kind of insane to see. And as we know, China might get into a situation with Taiwan. So definitely keep your eyes on the news. You know, there's some pretty big things going on even in China. So um, keep that in mind as well. But the main news this morning was Russia invading Ukraine. There's been a lot of nasty videos out on the internet um, of like bombs exploding and stuff like that. So there's definitely a lot of bad stuff going on. A lot of like anti-war uh, protesters are going on or protests are happening in Russia and stuff like that. So Definitely a strange time, Mike, and the market is all over the place. It was really like a whipsaw today. Like I said, we had that huge move down this morning. And then, of course, you know, the market had to come right back up. Oh, of course. Like last night, futures were crashing. And not only did we make back all of the, I guess you can say, losses in the market from yesterday, but the market closed green, like you said. And it closed in the green by a pretty good amount like the S&P 500 was up around one and a half percent and it will it basically went up all day long yeah it did and we were actually watching it earlier in the morning it was kind of straddling like that 418 resistance we finally ended up breaking around there at the end of the day and we had a huge push all the way up through 420 up through 422 and we ended up closing up around 426 i just cannot believe the way the market recovered and i feel like mike that whenever biden started speaking towards the end of the day um more volatility came into the market but in a good way you know the market started flying back to the upside we saw some positive volume coming in which was nice you know it seemed like biden kind of he didn't necessarily have the like a groundbreaking speech or anything, but he didn't push any tensions and he did kind of, um, I think, calm down the situation slightly. So that was good to see. And the markets really reacted well to him speaking. And a lot of tech stocks recovered, Mike, like this morning, it was looking scary even for stocks like Apple, but they really recovered. Like we said, they're all the way back in the green now. Yeah, very true. So I know the market has been weird in the sense that we're seeing some stocks get destroyed and some assets really pop up. So like what stocks are moving in this crazy, I guess you can say environment that we're in? Yeah, definitely, Mike. And one of the craziest things is actually the oil market. You know, as we see, uh, Exxon and Mobil had an insane move to the downside today and crude oil last night, whenever all these tensions were getting worse, Crude oil actually popped above $100 a barrel last night, rising up in a major way and then falling all the way back down, closing at $92 today. I cannot believe all the volatility in the oil market and gold is the same exact way. We can see GLD popped up in a major way and then they also gave all of those gains back and then some. And you would expect with the, with the invasion happening that crude oil might have held up. But for some reason, it just continued to turn right back over. And I know that Biden actually talked in his speech a little bit about him. He actually said that he's trying to get the price of oil lower because obviously people are pretty angry that the gas prices are getting so high. Yeah, very true. It's definitely uh, boosting inflation even higher. But how are these war stocks doing? Like I know some of these larger companies like General Dynamics, you could say Lockheed Martin, um, and like a lot of other ones have been all over the place. So uh, how are these defense slash war stocks doing and which ones are you looking at? 
Yeah, they're actually doing pretty good. I will say Northrop Grumman's looking pretty great here. They uh they had a pretty good move today in pre-market. We can see there was multiple prints up here around $404, even one up there at 412 right in the beginning. So Definitely some uh, some pretty good price action here, and then it did start it did start to recover at the end of the day, which was nice. Like you mentioned, Lockheed Martin is probably my favorite one, Mike. Personally, I've been looking at Lockheed for a long time. Um, I traded them in the past on a pretty good dip on the Max Daily chart, um, all the way back here at the beginning of 2021, and then I ended up selling whenever they were up here, uh, you know, around like 370 or something like that. But um, as we can see, they've been on a pretty good uptrend over the past couple of months, and it looks like they might start to break out, Mike, especially with the way they moved in pre-market this morning. And then at the end of the day, they got pretty close to recovering back up to that opening price. Yeah, true that. So some other defense slash war stocks for everyone to watch is we have a GD, which is General Dynamics. Uh, we have NOC, like Tom mentioned, which is North Rock, North Rob Grumman. Uh, then we have Lockheed Martin, which is LMT. And then we have Raytheon, which is RTX. So those are like the top four ones to watch for. Um, and they have been moving to the upside quite a bit lately. Yeah, they have. And another one, Mike, is even Boeing. Um, but keep in mind that Boeing is also in the commercial industry in a pretty major way. So it hasn't really been moving the same way as the other war stocks, but they definitely deal with war stuff also. But yeah, I mean, these stocks are all doing pretty well lately. Like you said, if we look at like Raytheon on the daily chart, you can see that they've actually been on a pretty good uptrend, especially over the past couple of months. Same thing with General Dynamics, Lockheed and the rest. General Dynamics is actually looking pretty good. So Maybe we'll see a continuation out of these. Yeah, we shall see. So, Tom, do we have any other news going on with Ukraine or war or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, there's just so much news going on right now. Um, obviously, that China news was at, was actually pretty bad to see, Mike. And talking about the China stocks, we actually had Baba report earnings this morning. And talking about this, they actually ended up recovering up at the end of the day in a good way. But the way that we saw China come out and say these statements, I think that that's just adding more fear to the China stocks. You know, like Bob has been uh, all over the place and they just fell below that 110 support all the way down to $100 this morning. So definitely getting scary with that. And with all the Ukrainian stuff going on, Mike, it just, it just seems like stuff is just adding on. And if China starts to get involved, it's going to start to get pretty nasty here, especially in the short term, of course. Yeah, and I even saw some news with like uh, Bitcoin in Ukraine. So what's going on there? Yeah, this is actually some pretty insane news. There's uh, a lot of Bitcoin donations flowing into Ukraine right now to help their uh, war effort against Russia. And, you know, uh, CNBC, they pretty much said that Bitcoin donations are soaring. Um, there is around there was four hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin that came in within a 12 hour window today. So while that is a lot of money, just keep in mind that the cost of like a Tomahawk cruise missile is like $1.87 million to $2 million per missile. So, um, you know, while 400000 is good, keep in mind, we need a lot more money to flow in to really compete with a big country like Russia. But it's good to see that uh, Bitcoin's flowing in there, Mike. And honestly, you know, with all the Russian hackers and stuff, I almost would have expected Bitcoin to flow in the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, Tom. All right. Well, what other earnings do we have for the rest of the week? Because I know it's been uh, one wild week. Yeah, it really has. So um, tonight we had Beyond Meat, Coinbase, and Square. These are Coin, yeah, Coinbase and Square or Block. I should say now they changed their name. Those are going to be some pretty big ones. Tomorrow morning we have MoneyGram, Foot Locker, um, Lending Tree. Um, OCGN. So we do have a few stocks tomorrow, but Mike, the biggest ones were honestly today and after hours. And one key one was Oxy. I will say Oxy actually was halted in the middle of the day whenever their earnings came out. For some reason, they released their earnings at like, uh, like 3 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Central time. And they actually came in with a nice beat on their EPS there, which was great. And their stock's doing pretty good. So um, pretty weird to see them report in the middle of the day. And it looks like Square is just all over the place in after hours today, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate to see. I know that we were really hoping to see this one start to move up. For sure. All right. So I just want to give a giant shout out to our member of the day today, which is Olible. Thank you so much, Olible, for continuing to be a great and active member of the Stocked Up Discord. Tom and I really appreciate you. But Tom, uh, we want to go right into the momentum plays for tomorrow. And with the first one, we have Palantir to the upside. 
Yeah, go ahead and make Palantir break out right above this $12 resistance. I think that's going to be a nice whole dollar level to look at. All right. And then with the next one, we have Upwork also to the upside. Yeah, Upwork really recovered up well today. Go ahead and make them break out above uh, $25.15. And then with the last one, we have Roblox also to the upside. Yeah, this one was doing pretty good, actually. Go ahead and make them break $50.75. All right, so we are watching these three stocks for potential day trades to the upside tomorrow, only if they break above the levels Tom listed. And we definitely want to showcase that bot play from today. So if you trade options, definitely try out our, our not, not our new bot, our hybrid bot. I called out the Roblox $47.50 strike call options today, around $280 each. By the end of the day, they went to $440 each. So from $280 all the way up to $440 in a couple hours. If you trade options, we have a ton of options day trading bots. Tom and I also call out option swing trades, and we have a great community. So if you want to try it out, definitely check out that first link in the description and the comments down below. We have a coupon running, and if you trade options, it's a great program for you. Of course, not every single bot play works out, but the bot does pretty good. So definitely check it out. You can cancel it anytime. But Tom, do you have any last minute plays before we close out of today's video? Yeah, I did kind of want to bring up some of these growth stocks, Mike, because I will say that whenever the market started recovering up this morning, um, it was looking pretty brutal. You know, we saw the spy down. We saw even stocks like DraftKings, you know, they were continuing lower, at least uh, before the market opened. But once the market opened, these growth stocks recovered up in a major way. DraftKings actually broke above the high of yesterday, ran all the way up to $21.85 here. This was a pretty nice run out of DraftKings, actually. And there was a bunch of stocks on my watch list moving pretty well. We had DraftKings up 11%. RUN was up 20%, Clover Health, 20%, you know, uh, Palantir, 13%, Rivian was even up 10%, Matterport, CHPT, you name it. I mean, these growth stocks really turned around, and I'm wondering if we're going to finally see some nice upwards momentum at least continue into tomorrow. You know, we're sitting at some pretty good resistances here, and I'm just going to be really interested to see if the market can keep this momentum up. True that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you trade options, definitely check out that first link in the description and the comments down below. We have a lot of great bots. We have a coupon running and you can cancel at any time. So definitely check it out. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching.